Welcome to the Alternative Products Podcast, the ultimate hub for counterculture enthusiasts and innovators. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the world of alternative products together. So here we are with another episode in the podcast. We have Abe with Baked in MN, that's Baked in Minnesota. Uh, Abe, what can you tell us about Baked in MN and uh, the company? So we're actually a company based out of Minnesota, that's hence the name. Yep. Uh, we, were, uh, we were founded about a couple years ago. Okay. Uh, we started out in a tobacco store, actually our family tobacco store. We, we just wanted to private label our product and then after a little while we realized people were coming into the store just especially for the product. So we were like, okay, there's clearly a bigger demand for our product than we can. Yes. Uh, satisfied the moment so we ended up going into wholesale as a company and uh, from there we started doing our own operations rather than working with a different company okay and uh, after that we were in we found ourselves in Minnesota Wisconsin Illinois uh, Iowa North Dakota and now we're looking to expand our business share our story with everybody awesome awesome amazing so you guys went from pretty much every aspect of the industry every of the business you went from retail in the tobacco side of things, yep. saw, saw a niche that you wanted to get into, turned it into something wholesale, and now you guys are actually manufacturing the product, is that right? Correct. Awesome. So we're manufacturing the product. Um, we are, are also working on product development right now, rather than just sticking to what the market already knows. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of uh, ideas are you guys getting from the trends in the industry, and uh, what's your, your next focus? Is there any new kind of products that you're bringing out? Anything in the mushroom side of things, or, or, or can you go into any detail on that end? I'm, we're currently not thinking about doing the mushroom side of things, uh, mainly because our focus in Minnesota okay. overall, uh, due to the fact that we just legalized cannabis over there. Okay. We're going from the hemp industry, we're transitioning into the cannabis industry, we'll stay, we'll stay focused on the hemp end of things because there is a market outside of Minnesota that we're going to have to work with. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And have you guys been to any expos before, trade shows? Have you been to, um, and what's your kind of plan when you come to a trade show? What are you trying to execute? So we, we've been to trade shows in Minnesota. We've uh, promoted our product out there. We have uh, worked with companies on smaller venues in uh, neighboring states, but this is actually our big, first big exposure. First big expo, yep. all right, yep. all right. And um, how has how's that experience been for you in, in comparison to the smaller kind of venues and uh, being at this show, this being the second day, uh, how was the first day and, and, and what, what kind of experience can you give us? Uh, it's, it's been a great experience overall. I mean, everybody has made it easy for us. Everybody worked with us throughout okay. the process. I'm not gonna say names because I'm gonna forget somebody. For sure, for sure. Uh, but every single person that we have worked with on your guys end has been great uh working with people within the industry speaking talking to people within the industry uh has helped a lot over the cu past couple of days uh introducing our product to a newer customer base has also helped with that and yep. it's, it's it's been great overall awesome and i see a couple different uh you know forms of uh, infused, I would say, beverages and gummies, edibles. Yep. Um, what are these infused with and what are the kind of different forms that you guys have? So our products overall are literally based on customer demand. And what I mean by that is not what, how much customers demand, I mean what do they want in a product. So before we work on any of these products, we ask our customers our, uh, if, if they are, what, what problems are they having with the current products? Uh, and, um, a lot of products are great out there, but yeah. what stands out for them that would make them not buy that particular product? Now, when you say when you say customers, are you talking the smoke shops? Are you talking consumers? Uh, uh, the the consum on the consumer, consumer level. level. So, so, yep, so, so not 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 the businesses that you're selling to. Correct. Per se, you're you're going directly to the consumer, finding out what they want in the product. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so, for example, our drinks. Um, everybody has complained about the fact that there's some sort of bitter taste in drinks. Okay. In general, when, it, when you have hemp or cannabis in a drink, you're gonna get that little bit of uh, bitter taste. Yes. So we went with a completely different flavor pro profile. Okay. We, we decided to go with, what do people like? Okay, people like pop or soda. We say pop up there, but gotcha. soda. Uh, okay, let's do a cream soda flavor. Nice. Uh, we were like, okay, there's a big energy market. Let's make an energy drink flavor. Uh, 
citrus is everybody's favorite so we went with that nice and um fruit punch is also another favorite yes. for everybody and we're working on strawberry watermelon right now and when you say energy drink um are you adding anything to that um to that drink as well to give energy or is it st is it still the the cannabinoids or what exactly is going into the into these products it's, it's only the flavor okay so the reason behind that is because if you put that in there it's going to act counter the actual drink right. and the effects that you're looking for out of it 100 percent. Uh, especially when you're putting 10 milligrams of cbd in there you're looking for it to be relaxed you're looking to enjoy right. your time with it and it's gonna counter that immediately the second you put any little bit of beef right any any caffeine like any exactly. chlorine anything like that i gotcha and um what's what's the kind of uh serving size that you would say it, um are, are on these products um for are these gummies what are you sh sh showcasing here for instance so for example the gummies we have right here uh serving size is one gummy it has five milligrams of thc along with a 0.5 thcp okay uh all of that is uh uh hemp derived thc mainly uh and then you have our vapes over there we're focused on hhc mainly for our three grams and that is the newest vape that we came out with okay uh the reason behind that one because we want to work with different markets around the country we want to be able to deliver our product to the consumer yes uh wherever they are and still experience what our product can bring to their table awesome and you say direct to consumer do you guys have a physical shop that people go into is it online web com uh, e-commerce and uh are you guys also really focused on getting your, your, your product into other stores as well? Uh, so we currently do retail and we only do it on our website. So visit bnmn.com. So that's B for baked nmn.com. Um, yep. And then on top of that, we, we're currently, we have a customer relationship with uh, our stores that retail our products. We actually contact them in person. We go give them visits, see what the concerns are making sure that we're staying up to date with the market and okay. getting all that feedback and putting it right back into our business. Awesome. So that kind of ties into, you know, building relationships. Um, what kind of things do you guys do to build those relationships and, 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 and get the feedback that you're looking for so you can fine tune these products to what the consumer actually wants? Absolutely. So we have our own customer representatives that have their areas or particular geog uh, geographical areas that okay. they can go to yep. where they can go bi -weekly, weekly or bi-weekly depending on the customer and what they would like, uh, seeing what's working for them, changing their inventory, seeing what product is moving for them, seeing what we, how we can help them uh, push other products that they would like to uh, get out to their customers. And it's been very effective. Awesome, awesome. Yep. And uh, on the legality side of things, you Absolutely. know, when choosing a name baked, it kind of really stands out to you. Absolutely. Um, are there, do you guys have a legal team that kind of looks over any kind of le legal issues that might come up by choosing such a name and, and using that logo and, and patenting? Do you guys have like what's the, the process on that? Uh, so, yes, we have a legal team uh, that works with us on. Uh, so we have to go. Uh, we have to run everything by them before we release anything so when we came up with the logo it was very interesting because it was very controversial at the time yes um but when we spoke to our legal team they were like everything is okay at least within the state of minnesota and then we started looking into other states that we are distributing into yeah and uh our legal team has been really really supportive when it comes to that because they just go over the, the yes. whole entire thing and i personally couldn't do that gotcha gotcha so yeah. how important is it for somebody um that's starting a brand to have their own legal team or is it possible for them to do it on their own or there's just too much information if you're not in that in that world it is possible it's just going to be time consuming where you're going to have to focus on that rather than focus on developing your business okay. so leave it to the experts is what i always say if i if we can't do something we are going to contact some experts to make sure that we can bring one the best advice to best quality product Awesome, awesome. Wave, if uh, you have anything else to say uh, about you guys' plan, the product, uh, anything, any other uh, points to, to, to give our, our audience well, before we get out of here? Well, other than the fact that we're looking forward to satisfy every single customer that's going to consume our products, I just want to say visit our website, uh, learn a little more about us at bnmn.com or follow us on Instagram or, or any social media platform 
at Baked in MN. Again, that is Baked in MN. So Baked in MN, uh, Baked in MN and the correct. website is B-I-N-N-M, correct? Correct. There it is, B-I-N, B-I-N-N-M, and M-N. M -N. I know, it's a tongue twister. There right you now. go. You'll, you'll have it all on the on the screen for you guys. Appreciate your time, Abe. Awesome. Thank you so there, much. There Appreciate your time Baked as well. Baked in MN. Thank you, thank you. All right. Sweet. As the industry continues to evolve, so will we, bringing you the latest trends, innovations, and stories from the front lines. Don't forget to share this podcast with your friends, family, and industry peers to help us spread the word and continue to grow this community. Thank you for being a part of the Alternative Products Podcast.